Maybe some of you haven't. But anyway, I just want to start with uh, these, these words and phrases at the top. It says, uh, And it translates into English, let me be one with thee every day, Amin Ra, so I may see your sacred beauties. Amin Ra, I come to thee. And so that is indeed what we are endeavoring to do with all our hearts, with all our souls. And so this is a meditation that's relating to the, to the symbols for the, for the name of Amin Ra, but this is not only the name, but it, it, it communicates to us some of the, the character, the characteristics, the qualities of the Most High. And uh, as, as, you, as you may know, at the, at the end of this, over there to the right, there's a, a human looking figure, an anthropo anthropomorphic looking figure that uh, plays no, no role in the sound of, 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 of what's presented here. And it's, it serves to, to clarify that what's being presented here is, is, is something to be manifested in this symbol at, at, the, at the end, at the right. And the symbol is a, is a symbol that our ancestors call the remitch. And it's, it's, it's signifying humanity, human. It's signifying the, the powers, the potential of nature in the human being, in the human kind. And uh, we know from our studies that the most high, you know, in the process of bringing humanity into creation brought a, a force, a power by which and through which to continue the process of creation. So we seek to know how to do that and have the power within to do that by uh, embracing, uh, internalizing the energy, the essence of the most high that's communicated to us through the symbols representing the name of the most high. And so uh, I want you to get in the a position that you're comfortable with for, for, for meditation, breathing, uh, relaxing, absorbing, becoming one with that to which we are late. And so with this, we want to start with taking a deep breath, holding it for a short period of time, relaxing, and exhaling. We want to first relate to this budding reed leaf. The first symbol on the left here. It's a budding reed leaf. And the budding reef, reed leaf uh, communicates to us the ah sound in Amen. Uh, further, it communicates to us that Amen Ra is the great spirit of life, is the first principle of life, the one having the power to become the many. And uh, if you notice the, uh, the, uh, uh, a, reed, a reed plant near bodies of water, when they, when they flower and they have their, 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 their flowerings and, and I don't know what you call those things, all those fluffy things that, that are carrying innumerable seeds and they're waiting for the wind to blow them to fertile spots. Well, the symbol calls all of us who will listen to allow our hearts and minds and every cell of our being to be, to be fertile ground fertile ground, receptive to the life and nurture that each breath of life brings from the most high, the grow and becoming great spirits of life ourselves, to use our hearts and minds in every ounce of truth, justice and righteousness, growing in every cell and fiber of our being to disseminate the truth, the beauty and the goodness of the divine sacred reality with every breath of our lives. And so uh, as we focus on this budding reed leaf, there's this budding reed leaf meditative expression. So as we relax and breathe, let's repeat this together. Of course, you're all mute, so we won't all be crossing over each other, but let's repeat this meditative expression. Divine Holy Spirit, great spirit of life, your holy sacred essence within calls me to live the sacred life, a life of truth and justice, balance and harmony, righteousness, divine right order and reciprocity. 
in every cell and fiber of this temple that I be, always be, except Tepe in me. Then we want to say, resonate the name of Amin Ra as, as, as the mantra, you might call it for this meditation. And it's Amin. And now we want to move on to the Senate game board, which is just to the right of the budding reed leaf. And this second symbol is the Senate game board, which communicates the men sound in Amen. It's a symbol for the eternity or the permanence of the Most High, as well as divine intelligence creativity and the afterlife. So Senec was a, 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 a game that was played in, in ancient Kemet. It was a game that came before, before chess and checkers and any of those uh, boring. The success in the game of, of, of Senec required that you, that you had knowledge of the symbols, the teachings of our sacred African way. Because your component could have his or her piece, their disc, or whatever they were using, whatever you call those things, and you game, you know, going against yours, and, and you had to have uh, insights, uh, intelligence, commitment to those symbols to know which move to make to counter his or her move. But more importantly, you know, those those things are entrusted to us by the Most High to, to grow in knowing the sacred way so that we will know what to do and what not to do under various circumstances. Uh, uh, you know, what, what to do under, the, under circumstances with mock, what to do with, with uh, the virtues of our way, what to do with uh, the Nguzo Saba, what to do with all the teachings, the, 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 the uh, Declarations of Innocence, how to live our lives according to the sacred way that the Most High has entrusted unto us. So let's repeat together what this meditative expression is saying. Spirit of eternity, intelligence and creativity, I pray that the life I lead, endeavoring always to honor the spirit of my and the teachings and virtues of our sacred way in my thoughts, words, and actions will allow me to be one with thee, one of thee, in the kingdom of eternity, when the day and hour of transition visits my temporal being, always be, Septebi in me. Amen Ra. Amen. Ra. Amen. Ra. I'm looking at the time. We're going to have to speed it up a bit if we're going to get through to the end of this. The next symbol is the rippling water beneath the the uh, Senate game board. Rippling water. 
it's a phonetic compliment. Please, you know, complimenting, strengthening uh, the uh, the the men sound, the in sound in Amen. It's also known to represent the sound of the spirit of the Most High doing the work of creation. So that's you know why I was led to just give emphasis on that in sound when we're doing the Amen Ra to allow that 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 sound, that spirit, that resonance of the Most High doing work of creation to to resonate within. So let us read what this meditative expression says. Divine generosity, holy sacred sovereignty, thanks and praises for the sacred measure of Septepi essence that flows within every breath of life. Your continuing call to one and all to rise up and be one with thee, one of thee, every hour, every day. Always be Septepi in me. Amen. Amen. As we move along to the to the mouth, up at the top of to the right of the center game board. The mouth communicates the R sound in bra. It also can serve to, to uh, bring to our consciousness the, 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 the creation process of bra as pata uh, with the, the, the seeing of the eyes, the hearing of the ears, the breathing of the nostril, uh, the, 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 the perceiving, declaring, creating process of the most high as stated in the Memphite theology, serves to remind us and inspire us that the same qualities have been entrusted unto us. When we talk about the Most High, we're not talking literally eyes and ears, but uh, those, those powers infinitely more than what we have, but a measure of that has been entrusted unto us to do all we can, every way we can, to bring into being the community of truth and justice and love. So uh, here's the meditative expression related to the mouth. Let's read that. In me, let your heart arise with love and mot energize. Power to perceive and analyze that which comes through the seeing of my eyes, the hearing of my ears, and the breathing of my nostrils. Power to perceive and realize that which is and that which ought to be for the greatest good of family and community in all dimensions of life. Let the words of my mouth always reflect that sacred and creative reality and add to the energy of family and community to work together in unity to create and maintain that which provides for our greatest good. Always be septic in me. Amen. Amen. As we move along to the to the forearm and hand, uh, the forearm and hand beneath the mouth communicates the ah sound in ra. It represents the full range of creative acts and blessings that come forth from the hands, so to speak, of the most high, giving, receiving, setting limits, opening new vistas. It serves to remind and inspire those who revere the image and essence of Amin Ra, of nature within, to be unceasing in turning our hands to the deeds and actions that create, protect, and perpetuate the community of truth and love. And so let's read this forearm and hand meditative expression. It says, let every cell and body 
every muscle and bone of the temple that I presently know as home, be ready, willing, and able to work diligently with family and community to establish and maintain that which provides for our greatest good. Always be septepi in me. Amen. Amen. Moving ahead, the solar disk, Ra solar disk, plays no role in the sound of this presentation, but it serves to clarify that indeed we are referencing Ra, the great spirit of life, the one that manifests its presence in and through the powers of the sun. It serves to remind and inspire us to always do all we can in every way we can to be the sun of truth, beauty and goodness of hope and love in the sky of our family, of our community and loved ones and to, to let that power always be present in the sky of our own consciousness. Let's read this meditative expression. Let your light shine on me until my heart is truly, truly free, free to live as one with thee here and now and for all eternity. Always be septepi in me. Amen. Amen. And finally, we move to this anthropomorphic nature uh, meditative symbol. Um, and so let's read together what it says, divine creator, strong liberator, sacred ancestors, eternal parents and elders. May the spirit of truth, love, and beauty that flows from your hearts and souls inspire, encourage, and empower me and mine to do as much as you have done, to diligently do all we can to make life more beautiful and beneficial for the here and now and for generations beyond imagination. Always be septepic in me. Amen. Amen. So let's do all we can in every way we can in being one with Amin Ra, to become one of Amin Ra, that sacred essence within, uh, and never allow any lesser power in the universe of life to lead us to neglect and disrespect it and each other. So let's close with this saying we learned some years ago, Ketim. 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 That means to seal it up, to close it up, to become, to become a, a fortress, a castle, if you will, of this energy, this essence, this power. And it's 1030. I see.